You know, part of government is um, making sure that you have continuity, that you have a continuity of your government, that you have transitions and smooth transitions as you move through changes and changes that happen during life. Uh, and today is a day that I have an announcement that is a bittersweet announcement, uh, somewhat a difficult announcement, announcement for me, but it's also a good announcement. Uh, and the, today um, we are announcing uh, Rex Reynolds, who has been our city administrator for the past five years, has been with the city of Huntsville for 33 years. Uh, he's worn many hats in the city of Huntsville, everything from police officer to police lieutenant to shift commander to chief of police to director of public safety, where he was over both police and fire. Uh, and then the last five years, he served as city administrator for the city of Huntsville. Rex has been a stalwart partner in progress for for the city of Huntsville and making Huntsville move forward. Uh, Rex is going to retire at the end of this year, January 1st, so uh, we still have six months of Rex, uh, and that's a, that's a great thing. Uh, we're glad to have him for the next six months. But um, in 2008, uh, when I was looking for city administrator, uh, I went to see uh, Rex Reynolds, and Rex will, Rex will tell you that he called in to check on retirement to see if he was going <laughs> to be retained, and I was looking to find someone to partner with me in helping uh, the administration for the city of Huntsville, and uh, Rex uh, agreed to come on, and Rex has been somebody who, um, I've got to say, he's made the progress happen here in the city. Uh, he has been had continuity, and he's made sure that we move forward. I remember the first day, we were both um, new to each other, and we started working, and uh, we didn't we forgot to put in a break for lunch. And um, about two o'clock, I think we both stole half a sandwich from one of the uh, administrative assistants there, and, and finally got something to eat. And then we started realizing the value of having breakfast meetings there. <laughs> but. Uh, Rex is one of the most respected city administrators in the field. Uh, his experience and invaluable connections throughout Alabama have made for Huntsville to move forward. He served this city admirably and selflessly for decades. He's been one of my most trusted advisors, managers, confidants, and friends, and he deserves the joys and pleasures of a happy retirement, although I fully expect him to be starting a second career if I really read it right. Uh, and also I expect to see him in other public service roles because that's ingrained in his nature and in his character and I, I fully expect to see that also. You don't spend 33 years in City Hall if you aren't a successful leader. And Rex has, Reynolds has served under four mayors and seen numerous transitions and much growth in the city of Huntsville. His leadership and compassion for programs that positively impact our community, including the service on numerous boards and commissions, including the Boys and Girls Club, Partnership for Drug-Free Youth, United Way, Huntsville Sports Commission, and Crime Stoppers. And as the city's chief of police, he served on many state and national organizations and was regularly recognized for his outstanding contributions. Rex is gonna leave a void that few can fill, but we are very glad that, to have had Rex for the last five years. And I want to say personally a thank you for all that you've done for the city of Huntsville and for myself, Rex Reynolds. Mayor, I appreciate that. And I appreciate the opportunity that you, you did give to me in 2008. Uh, I, I will tell you that I'm a better person to have served uh, under Mayor Tommy Battle. Uh, they, they often say in, in management to uh, surround yourself with smart people. Uh, well, I'll tell you that I had Tommy Battle at the top, and I had 26 awesome, uh, smart department heads uh, that I worked with every day. I mean, it's just, just amazing uh, at, at the amount of knowledge within our ranks and, and, and to our workforce. I mean, I am so blessed to have worked with a workforce for so many years now, uh, and, and the citizens uh, are the ones that benefit from that. I mean, these employees serve this public night like no other, so it, it's been awesome. Uh, wow, <laughs> uh, almost 34 years since I sat in that little police academy classroom down at the old airport that's not there anymore, uh, and I have been so blessed uh, to ha have a, a, a great career uh, and, and to meet so many people. Uh, the mayor mentioned it, uh, just to have the opportunity to serve the Boys and Girls Club. 
the United Way, uh, the Sports Commission, uh, the Partnership for a Drug-Free Community, and, and those are organizations that I want to stay involved with uh, because, because they continue to do great things uh, for, for our, our, um, our citizens uh, and, and our community. And I mean, that just attributes to what Mayor talks about all the time, uh, our, our quality of life. So that, that's all, all, awesome. Uh, I will say, people have asked me, even coming in the hallway this morning, uh, would you ever consider running for public office? Uh, I'll tell you, that would be something I consider uh, because it would put me in a position to continue to serve the public. Uh, so certainly I'll, I'll have those conversations with my family. Uh, I've, I've, I've got a new grandson that, that after a long, serious career uh, is now showing me how to, how to chill out and relax a little bit. So uh, that, that, that has been awesome. I, I've been, I have certainly enjoyed that. But hey, enough about me. I'm excited about this man to my right. I sent an email out this morning. Mayor, I'm not going to get into your thunder, but uh, this guy's already a community partner, been there, done that. Uh, we quite often, uh, Colonel Shesky and Colonel Hampton, we talk about the, the soldiers and we talk about our police officers being soldiers and our workforce. Uh, so he's been there, done that, and I'm so excited about him. So with that said, Mayor Battle. Thanks, sir. You know, uh, uh, as, as we start talking transition and continuity, uh, uh, you know, as you have a void, you have to, uh, you, you fill that void. And Rex leaves a void that few can fill, but I'm pleased to say that we've identified the right person for the job. And Colonel John Hamilton, the former garrison commander at Redstone Arsenal, has agreed to come in and, uh, and be our city administrator as our next step in the progress for the city of Huntsville. Uh, the garrison commander's job is, is very similar to that of a mayor's. As uh, John Olszewski will tell you, he was mayor of Redstone Arsenal for how many years, John? Three years, just three, like him. Three years, just like him. And John Hamilton's record is that of a high-performing team leader, and he's well-known and respected in, out the, throughout this community. I'm delighted and honored to have him join our administration and look forward to a great partnership. John just recently retired from a long and distinguished military career. He served in leadership positions where he earned extensive experience in logistics, planning, and operations, and as garrison commander, John Hamilton has led the arsenal through a challenging growth period, stemming from the 2000 phase, 2005 Base Realignment and Closure Commission. He worked closely with all aspects of the garrison and the community including human resources, recreation, plans, public works, emergency services, mobilization and security, and family and morale uh, welfare. All those departments have similar roles in the city of Huntsville. John, we look forward to having you here. Uh, John has his wife, Melinda, with him today and son, Walker. Very glad to have you all here today, too. Uh, and John will be coming in uh, in the fall. And to facilitate a smooth transaction, John will begin working with the city under contract later this year and will assume the office of city administrator when Rex departs the 1st of January. Uh, during this period, we will be looking at overlap, during this overlap period, we'll be looking at uh, some of our organizational structure. You know, some of our efficiencies and util uh, utility of workforce, we'll be looking at uh, how we can get better, how we can be a better Huntsville. John, we are very glad to have you, and thank you for taking on this role. John? Hey, good morning. It, uh, it is absolutely awesome to be joined in such a high-performing team. I look forward to, to working with each of the departments uh, as we continue to grow this city. We moved here in 2010 and, and have fallen in love with this city and with this, uh, with this community. Uh, it's great to have served in a position where we are so closely partnered with, uh, with the municipal government, uh, not only of Huntsville, but a lot of the surrounding communities. So as you build those relationships and you learn the community, uh, it's an easy place to fall in love with. Uh, and I am looking forward to the challenges uh, associated with continuing to, to take Huntsville forward, uh, and certainly in supporting the mayor and his vision for the long-term growth of, of Huntsville. So it is, uh, it's good to be here, Mr. Mayor. Thank you for the opportunity to do that. And Rex, thank you for your service. This community is a better place for the 33 years that you spent here. Thank you. Thanks, sir. And finally, uh, I'd like to ask Mark Russell, our council president, kind of uh, 
you'll play wrap up here, I okay. guess, here. Sure. Uh, wrap us up because this is a team effort. I mean, it's a team effort. The, the mayor's office has a function. The council has a function. We have John Olszewski here from the council. Do we have any other members of the council? I can't see behind the light there. I don't think so. And Mark Russell is president of the council. Uh, and Mark, I'd like for you sure. to address this. Thank you, Mayor Battle. Good morning. Uh, on behalf of the council, we want to congratulate Rex Reynolds on a, a great career with the city. He was a very trusted public servants, servant, and we enjoyed our working relationship. Uh, he was a uh, successful chief of police. He led us through uh, many crises. Uh, one that came uh, to mind is the Lehigh bus tragedy. He was new on the job and did an outstanding job handling the national media and putting a, 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 a good face on Huntsville and as we handled that tragedy. He's worked with us on many other occasions. We, we have a great working relationship. That's all the council. Uh, we uh, very much appreciated his knowledge of having been here 33 years and going up through the ranks. So we're going to miss our good friend uh, Rex Reynolds. But we're also going to welcome our good friend Colonel John Hamilton to the team. Uh, Colonel Hamilton has worked with us through uh, the tornadoes. He's worked with us through many other projects. And we have a great relationship with him. And he is a very trusted uh, from the council. So uh, speaking for all the members of the council, we, we like the team. Uh, we're looking forward to working with Colonel Hamilton. Hamilton and we see great things in the future. So we thank Mayor Battle for putting this all together. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. And, and let me say this. This is, uh, as I said, this is a bittersweet announcement, but we got Rex for six more months. So, and you put up the Kleenex. We got a little while. Uh, <laughs> but, it, but it is, uh, it, it is a bittersweet because it has been a great partnership. Uh, Rex Reynolds has been a great trusted public servant and has done a fantastic job for us. Uh, looking at the future, uh, big shoes to fill, but we have someone who can fill big shoes, uh, Colonel John Hamilton. Uh, John will be an asset for this community and will be someone who can lead this community into the next uh, next generation. And I'm so glad to have both of these guys here and I can count on both of these people as good friends and good partners in the progress of Huntsville. So thank you.